Hey, this is Miss Leahy, and I'm here to show you a quick tool called Adobe Animate from, from Audio. You open up your Adobe Express, it's on the SSO, and make sure that you're opening the Adobe Express instead of Adobe Creative Cloud. You click on the plus sign, you choose Quick Actions, and then you choose the very first choice, which is Animate from Audio. I usually pick a background first, but you don't have to. You can do pick whatever you want. I'm just going to be picking this one for right now, but there's tons. I could spend a lot of time scrolling through. I could also upload an image for my background, which would be awesome if you're doing a special project and then you click on character and you choose whatever character you want. There's also categories to help you. So maybe I'm picking animals and then I'm going to pick, let's say truffles, a little bunny rabbit. Then I move over here. I can resize this if I want it to be uh, bigger or smaller. I want him to be ginormous. <laughs> as big as the trees. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch this enhanced speech on. You don't have to, but it does sound better if you switch that on. And then I click record. There's a countdown. And then you say what you want to say with animated voice. Click on done. It generates the audio. It's also going to, you know, open and close the mouth. So it's really the animal really does look like it's saying your words. Then you get to play what you, and if you like it, you click on download. And if you don't like it, then you click on back and then you click on replace audio to go ahead and take care of it again. So I'm going to go ahead and click preview. Then I'm clicking on download because I do like it. Now, because you're using Chromebooks, when you do this with students, it downloads to their Google Drive, which is really nice. For if you're using uh, your desktop, it downloads to your downloads folder, most likely. Your students can upload it to an assignment in Canvas that you've made that is uh, designated for upload a file. And then you'll be able to see it and all the students can be seeing it. It also, as you can tell, add it to a Google slide, which would be kind of fun too. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening.